Hey, welcome back. This is an example problem that we're going to solve. We're going to try to apply some of the things that we've learned so far in the course to this problem. So here's a typical problem statement in our course. Write a program that begins by asking the user for his or her name and then ask the user by name for a dividend and divisor. The program prints the integer quotient and remainder on separate lines according to the following example. So then you, you know, you're given an example of what your program should do. It should print, hello, what is your name? And then uh, the user has typed in Marty. Marty, please enter a dividend. And then the user has typed in, say, 13. Thanks. Marty, please enter a divisor. And the user has entered 5. Then it prints, the integer quotient of 13 and 5 is 2. The remainder is 3. All right. So let's figure out how we're going to write that. So you see, I've got that, that whole problem statement as a comment. So the computer will ignore it if you start with a hashtag or a pound sign. All right, so the first thing we need to do is ask the user for his or her name. So because the user has to input a name, we're going to use the input function. So we say input, and then we put a message there in single quotes, hello? Right. What is your name? Question mark and then a space, because you see there's a space right there in the example run. And then we want to store this as something, right? So we need an assignment statement equals, and we can we can choose whatever variable name we want. How about uh, my name? That's a great variable name. Variable names should be descriptive, right? So my name is a descriptive variable name. All right, so then we'll hit enter, and then on the next line, the uh, user has to enter or input in a dividend, and so we'll use the input function again, and we'll we'll store it with an assignment statement. We'll store it as uh, a descriptive variable name. How about dividend? Right? Dividend equals input, and then we'll say um, we've got we've got to call the user by name now, so we'll we'll type my my name, right? Because uh, remember, this is a string. When the, when the uh, user inputs something with the input function, it stores it as a string. So my name plus, right, concatenate. Then we need a comma, space. I'm going right by this here, comma space, and then please enter a dividend colon, right, and then a space. So that should do nicely. Next, we need to ask the user for a divisor. So again, the user is inputting something. So we'll need the input function. And we'll call, we'll store whatever the user inputs as, how about divisor? Divisor equals, right, with an assignment statement, input. All right, we'll, we'll say thanks, period, space, then concatenate that with uh, the user's name, my, my name, right? And then we need plus, we need more concatenation, comma, space, please enter a divisor, colon, space. Now, we're going to have to print the answer, right, 2 and 3, but let's let's get those numbers now. Let's do the calculations. Now remember, whenever the user inputs something, it's stored as a string. So right now, dividend is a string, divisor is a string, and we want to do mathematical operations on those things, so we need to convert them to integers, um, or, or floats, I guess. We'll, we'll keep it floats. So let's do uh, or integer. I guess we can assume that we can assume that the user has input some integers. So let's let's say int dividend. Okay, so that turns dividend into an int, and then we're going to do the integer division. Int divisor. Right, so it's turning those strings into integers and then doing the integer division. And we're going to store that as a variable. So we're going to use an assignment statement. And we'll store that as, uh, how about quotient? Right? That's fine. 
and then we need to do we need to calculate the remainder. So I'll say remainder equals with an assignment statement, right? And we'll take int dividend, right? Because it's still a string. And then we'll use the modulus operator, int dividend modulo, int divisor. So we'll do that calculation, calculate the, calculate the remainder, and store that as the variable remainder. Now with the answers, I have to, so those things are done behind the scenes. Now I have to print their contents according to the example run. So I will use the print function because I'm not going to ask the user for an input anymore. I'm just going to print out the results. So I'll follow the example there. The integer integer quotient of space. Now I need to put 13 in there. So 13 is the dividend. Dividend, right? So plus being concatenate. And remember, div dividend is a string, so there's no problem with this. Then plus then space of the integer quotient of, oh no, this should be and then, the integer quotient of dividend and, now I need the divisor, so I need a space there, and space, plus, now I need the yeah divisor. Again, the divisor is a string already, so there's going to be no issue with that. Then plus, quotes, space, is, space, and then I need to print the result. So plus, and then I've got, I want to put quotient here. But quotient what came from a mathematical operation. So quotient is a numerical data. It's integer. So I need to convert that to string because I'm putting concatenation right there. So I'm going to put string quotient like that. And so I've got my quotient there. And then finally, I'm just going to append plus a period. So I just got my, just got the period there. And let me, let me give some more space here. So you'll see that line there. I th think that looks good. I think we did everything right there. We'll, we'll run it later and we'll see if we've got the right answer. But now I'm going to print the next line. The remainder is three. Print the remainder is space, then I need to append 3 or concatenate 3. But remember, remainder is an integer, or it's a numerical data, so I need to change that to a string. String remainder, and then I, I need to append a period. So I'll, I'll say plus, and then in single quotes, period. and. Uh, it looks like that might be good. That might be good to go. So um, let me save that. Control S, and uh, let's try it. Let's let's run it. Let's see what happens. All right. So now I've got hello. What is your name? And I'll type Marty. Marty, please enter a dividend. Thirteen. Thanks, Marty. Please enter a d divisor. How about five? The integer quotient of thirteen and five is two. The remainder is three, beautiful. And you'll see the variables now have populated in our variable explorer. So we can we can run it again if we want. We can enter different things, like what is your name? Amanda, right? Enter a dividend, how about 57? Thanks, Amanda, please enter a divisor, how about 11? The integer quotient of 57 and 11 is five, the remainder is two. It looks like it works, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now, just a few, th a few like housekeeping details here. We're going to come to our program, and we're going to comment it. So I, I like to put, uh, and you should do this too. This is good programming practice. Put author, right? And put your name. Okay, and the last time it's been updated, you should also put that. Last updated, right? and whatever date it is, I don't know, 1916, whatever. <laughs> and then, uh, but actually put the real date. I'm just playing around here. But then you should also comment um, some of these lines, like, uh, like 
block comments like these lines will ask users a user for inputs right and then uh, maybe these lines calculate answer right and this line in particular is the uh, integer quotient and this line in particular is the remainder right and then these two lines print the results right and so I just want to point out so I've used comments here you should you should use your comments nicely where you've got your name and you've got uh, the date and then you you give a description you don't have to comment every line but you give a description of you know what's going on in your program this is good programming practice I also want to point out how I've used white space right to separate like similar blocks of code so we've got this uh, we've got these three lines here that are using the input function and then and then I put, have a blank space and then I've got two similar lines here which calculate the answer then a space and then two similar lines here to print the results so good use of white space helps with the readability of your code and then also the uh, variable names again you want a nice descriptive variable name for each of your variables that also helps with the readability of your code